uh, in the experiment 6 formation of jacobian uh, we are going to perform uh, problem solving with the three bus power system uh, which is given in the manual and then uh, the system parameters are given in the table a and the load and generation data in table b line impedance are marked in per unit on 100 mva base and line charging susceptance are neglected taking the bus one as slack bus uh, we are going to uh, perform this formation of jacobian matrix using mi power uh, software package so here uh, uh, double click this my power on the desktop so it will open this my power software package uh, make sure that it is having this administrator click ok and here just click on this my power then after that it is going to open uh, this user access levels uh, make sure that you are at a super user level then click ok so now this uh, my power window will be open so now after this uh, we need to draw the network uh, which is given in the manual so we have a three bus power system so for that uh, we have to go for this power system network editor which is the first option on this my power software package here uh, double click on this power system network editor and uh, after this power system network editor uh, we need to do the uh, database configuration so for that i uh, will just go with this uh, database here click on this database and then click configure so now here after clicking the configure uh, this dialog box uh, will be uh, popped up so now click on the browse button here and then uh, this open dialog box will be appeared uh, so here in this one so we need to go for uh, uh, the location where we need to do our uh, this thing so here we have uh, i'll just create another new folder uh, with a uh, name Yes. Okay. So then uh, we need to just let this open this folder and just give a file name for the database. I'll just give uh, experiment six exp six. Okay. Then click on this open. So now our uh, database name or the link which will be appeared here. And after that you need to click this connect or check this connect check box here. And after uh, uh, clicking on this connect, then here we need to click on this OK. So after clicking that, the configuration information will be appeared here. So in this one, uh, we need to just uh, check with that. Uh, uh, make sure that like uh, we need to uncheck this power system libraries and standard relay libraries. And after this, click on this voltage level. Make sure that the given voltage level is appeared in this list. Okay, and after that uh, click on this electrical and currency information so enter the base mva uh, which is given as 100 mva base and then base frequency is 50 hertz and uh, check this per unit status because all the values are given in per unit and then after that uh, like breaker ratings uh, no need to verify it so that is required only for the uh, breaker configuration okay, then click ok now our database is configured and uh, we are ready to uh, draw the power system network so now uh, after uh, doing this we have to go with respect to the drawing of uh, power system network element by element so here uh, first element will be our bus so we need to draw the first element so in that in the uh, given data so we are uh, in the table given like we have three buses bus 1 2 and 3 and uh, all the details will be given so the voltage level of bus 1 is 11 kV and bus 2 is 11 kV and bus 3 is 11 kV so that uh, uh, the right side of this window is having all the elements so here we need to identify where the bus is so we need to identify the bus so here uh, the first element is a bus so we need to draw the bus click on this bus and then we need to select the voltage level so our given power system bus bus 1 is of 11 kV click on this 11 kV and then draw the bus 1 first bus so now uh, this is having this bus id 1 and uh, click ok and after this uh, it will 
open up the bus data uh, in this one we need to enter the bus data make sure that all the details are correct here itself like uh, the nominal voltage is 11 kV okay so now uh, we need to just click on the save button here okay so everything is uh, uh, leave it as a default values only thing is just make sure that verify it uh, it is 11 kV and we have bus number 1 okay, and then click save now again we need to draw the second bus second bus is having again the same value which is 11 kV a bus 2 bus 2 is located at this position you click ok and then uh, nominal voltage is 11 kV the bus number is 2 click save and then bus number 3 bus number 3 is at this position you click ok then click on this save make sure that it is having 11 kV nominal voltage and bus number 3 click save it will go back to the network editor so after drawing this bus we need to go for the uh, second element second element is a transmission line uh, in the network editor window we have transmission line right so here this icon will give you the drawing of transmission and click on this transmission line so here the first transmission line is between uh, the bus number 1 and 2 transmission line is between bus number 1 and 2 which is given in transmission line library data okay. so line between 1 and 2 just click in between one bus 1 and 2 uh, then it is asking from bus okay so what we need to do we need to double click on the from bus from bus is bus number 1 double click on this bus 1 and then it is asking to bus so we need to double click on this bus number 2 to connect it so now uh, the element id is 1 click ok so now the line or cable data form will be appeared so here we need to enter the data with respect to this in the transmission line library data structure reference number is given as 1 so here in the structure reference number we need to enter 1 here it is structure reference number 1 and then after that uh, uh, structure reference name that will be a line 1 to 2 okay then uh, we have a resistance value of 0 0.08 and then a reactance value of uh, 0 0.24 so that value that we need to enter in the transmission line library so here we need to just check with the uh, from bus number and then two bus here from bus is one and two bus is two and then here just click this transmission line library after giving the structure reference number as one so now we need to enter this uh, data so here we have positive sequence resistance that will be 0 0.08 and then uh, positive sequence reactance is uh, 0 0.24 so all these values are given in per unit and line charging admittance uh, uh, the, uh, that is uh, neglected and the thermal rating is 100 mba then after that uh, we need to just click on this save and then just click this line so it will go back to the line and cable data okay so now here uh, the thing you, you can see this one the structure reference number is one from bus is one and two buses two and then just click on this save then we will go for the second transmission line which is between bus number 1 and 3 so we will take the transmission line click in between 1 and 3 so I will connect this to from bus 1 and 2 buses 3 double click ok element id is 2 and then here structure reference number is 2 and then uh, from buses 1 and 2 buses 3 click on this transmission line library and enter this uh, positive sequence resistance value as 0 0.02 and then uh, reactance value as 0 0.06 and thermal rating is 100 MVA click save and then click on this line it will go back to this and then after this click save okay, so now we have done with second transmission line and then uh, we need to go for the third transmission line so click this line and click in between this uh, yeah, so that I'll just rotate this. Okay. Uh, we will rotate 90, and then we need to rotate another 90. So I'll just click in between this one. So now it is asking from bus. I'll just double click on this bus number two. Is from bus, and then bus number 
three is uh, two bus. Double click on the three, click OK, and then give the structure reference number as three, and then we have a transmission line library. So from buses two and two buses three, click on this line library and enter this phosphor sequence resistance value as 0.06 and then phosphor sequence reactance value as 0.18 and then thermal rating is 100 MBA so click on the save click on this line and then click save again so now we have done with the uh, second element which is a transmission line and then after that uh, we need to go for a fourth uh, sorry third element which is a generator so in the uh, third element will be a generator so here to draw the sort generator here we will uh, select this generator here and then uh, click on the bus number one where the generator is connected at bus number one here we we'll just click on this bus number one to connect this generator into this element id one click ok then after this identify that uh, we have uh, the specified voltage the specified voltage is 1.05 plus J0 right so now just click on this KV it will compute and then we have uh, uh, this one will be 100 MVA and then we are just uh, click this manufacturer reference number one and then click on this library so here this thing will be appeared and then uh, keep the default values as it is and then click on this generator to go back to the generator data and then just click save it will go back to this uh, network editor and after this we need to uh, connect the loads load 1 is connected to bus number 2 and then load 2 is connected to bus number 3 and this load data is given in the table where actually we have uh, uh, load information okay load is this one so here uh, this icon here you can see at the right side click on this load the load one i need to rotate this okay load one is connected to bus number two connect this to bus number two and the element id is one click ok so now load data is given here so this uh, real power in megawatt which is 50 and then reactive power is uh, 20 just click on this power factor it will be calculated okay so then after that uh, we need to click save and then one more load which is connected to bus number 3 that is load 2 so we need to connect here need to rotate this to connect at this bus number 3 click ok now enter this real power which is 60 and then reactive power is 25 MVAR. Click here, and then click save. We'll go back to this uh, network editor, and after this, uh, we need to do the load flow analysis to uh, form this Jacobian matrix using uh, Newton Raphson method. So here, this one after drawing the network cost network with all the elements like uh, gener uh, generator bus transmission line and load and entering all the details in the uh, desired locations then we need to go for in this menu option we have solve menu. here click on this solve and then select this load flow analysis and then here in this load flow analysis we need to click on this study info in this study info we need to select newton raphson method so the second option here uh, under this technique newton raphson method and uh, enter the speed tolerance as 0.001 i think it's already there and q tolerance as 0.001 and then we need to select or print options as detailed results with data this print option as detailed results with the data and then click ok then after this we need to click on this execute so our problem has been executed and then we need to give the report 
with this report click on this report so in this one we need to just click standard here and then click ok so our report will be appeared so this is the information that we have entered here uh, at the starting of this report the details of uh, bar system is given like how many number of buses are used the generators are used transmission lines as you can see like number of buses are used is 3 and then here we have uh, transmission lines 3 and then we have used one generator and then we have used two loads okay so all these details will be uh, provided in the report and after this we will be having this load flow analysis and all the data which is related to uh, the bus transmission line and load will be appeared here and then our Jacobian matrix will be appeared here from this iteration count 0 so here is the Jacobian matrix and then we have iteration count 1 until it converges our Jacobian matrix will be appeared here so we have iteration count 3 ok like it is almost done iteration count so this tolerance is good and now we have this this iteration 3 the Jacobian matrix value so we have arrived at this Jacobian matrix formation here and all other details will be uh, mentioned in this report